Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now in the last two tu last tutorials, we guys saw how to print, uh, uh, how to make use of uh, single quotes and double quotes and strings and how to make them get printed in the print statement and uh, de some details about characters, strings and string of arrays. Okay, and in this tutorial, we will be looking at a slightly different concept. I thought of explaining you guys the different, uh, the modulus operation that happens in uh, the f in Fortran. Now, what's a modulus operator is is that it's a arithmetic operation wherein you wherein you get the reminder of a division. Okay, suppose you divide a uh, divide a number per, uh, with another number, you'll get a quotient and a reminder. Most of the time, division just gives only the quotient, whereas the reminder is left over. Okay, uh, but in this division in this modulus operation, the reminder is received. Okay. What I have is that I have a program named mod underscore ex dot f95 and the program is program and the, that's the file name and the program is mod underscore ex. I have the implicit none ready and let's start writing. So what I did is I managed to you know get some get some code that uh, I already wrote in the previous and already wrote in one of the previous examples and I used the scribble option that's available in Genie. To uh, take uh, to uh, you know make a scratch of it and just to to you know, to you know take a note of it so that I can you know use it here. So it's that it's a, it, this is like some kind of a handy uh, workspace wherein you can type something or keep something in notes like that. So that's one of the advantages of Gen that Genie processes when compared to others. It's a kind of a not so big feature but it's worth trying out. Okay, and now all I have to do is that you know. Uh, I can copy paste all this, but I just want to you know, type this out for, so that you guys can follow. Okay, now uh, for this program, I need the four integers. Okay, d comma e comma uh, q comma m, and uh, you need a real integer. You ne I need four real values: a comma b uh, b comma uh, q q r comma m r. Now d and e are integer names. That's it. And Q and M are the Q stands for the quotient, M stands for the divisor, and Q R stands for the real quotient, and M M R stands for the real modulus. M stands for the modulus, and A and B are real numbers. Okay. Now what I do is that I set the value uh, D equals fifty, uh, D equals fifty, and E equals ten. Okay. So that I can set, I can change this. This is and uh, this kind of a uh, setting is fine because I can change the value of D and E uh, multiple times as per my wish so that I can you know it's easy and uh, you know th in this way I don't have to get I don't have to you know write uh, read statements and uh, print statements and all to get the answer from the user because the answers from the user because this is easy to follow and then mod function is given by this m equals uh, mod okay and this function requires two operation operators First the divisor and then the uh, first the de, uh, first the divisor and the numerator and the de de denominator of the denominator. Okay, this is the number that you are going to divide and this is the number that you have that you will be using to divide. Okay, and that being the that being said, okay, I repeat the same process. So instead of just typing all this again, now I can I'll just copy all this because it's you know it's easy. And you know it's just it's not of a big complex code. It's just it's a very simple code, so you know this will work fine. The, the thing I want you guys to notice, d is set to an int set to an integer value 50, and e is set to another integer value 10. Okay, and it's a perfect divisible, perfect divisor, so perfect division. So q will be 5 and m will be 0. Okay, whereas in this case, if you guys notice, uh, a is set to 50.04 and b is set to be 10. So the uh, divisor uh, di uh, quotient will be 50.04, 50 uh, 5.004. Now the modulus, modulus will be uh, 0 0.04. Now you guys just watch how this works. Okay. Usually the you guys just watch how this works. To get the values properly, I copy copy all them and uh, and print print them here to get the values properly. Okay. Now I can just you know collapse this, okay. And I have the program ready. It's nothing. I'm just printing the value d, the parent e, q, m, a, b, q, r, m, r, just like that, okay. Now what I do is that I just compile this, uh, build this, and run this. 
Okay, get the values. Now watch. This is where the inter this is where the inter results can become a little uh, interesting. Now D is 50, fine, as because we mentioned here. E is 10, fine. Q is 5. Q, D E D divided by E, so it's 5. That's nothing to be a pro there is nothing interesting about that. And uh, M is actually the reminder operation, modulus operation. And it gets a reminder since 5, 50 divided by 10 is a perfect divisor. It's, it's a perfect division, the remainder is 0 and the remainder is getting stored here. Whereas in this case, A is 50.04, it's getting stored like this. Ignore this, zero point, ignore this 9 at the last, it's just a computation thing, but it, doesn't, it won't be, be of a big issue for you guys. Okay, and uh, B stands for 10, it's fine. Quotient is 5.004, and just ignore this 0 0.09 at the last, it's just some roundup issues, there's nothing to worry about. And then, the modulus operation, returns 0 0.04 this is actually written in scientific notation but this is actually 0 0.04 so what does this modulus operation does is that it tries to divide the number again and it will gives gives a value properly gives a, rem gives a remainder properly now the advantage of modulus operator is that as you guys noticed in these two examples they give perfect perfect answers okay and the, this model this operation works regardless of the you know regardless of the data type Usually modulus operations work only for integers. Here it works for integers and real numbers, same, both way, but, um, say in the same way. Now, if I were to you know slightly change this value, say 51, sorry 51, and I remove this zero off, and I put uh, another zero. Okay, uh, I compile this, build this, and run this. Okay, I get I get the reminder to be one. Because because so 10, 51 divided by 10 is on a perfect division, so it will remain give a modulus, so it works fine. Whereas if you guys notice in this part, 50 divided by 10 is a perfect division, so this turns out to be right, and the quotient is 5, and the modulus is turned out to be 0. So this way, I can tell you guys that this works perfectly fine. Okay, uh, I'll ca I'll just write the commented versions out, so you guys can practice that also. Okay. And then uh, e equals ten. E equals ten. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. And now, uh, and uh, a equals if I remember properly, fifty point zero four. And then b. Uh, yeah, b. Uh, yeah, let it be. B is the same. Okay. Uh, that's all I have for you. that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. I know it's a very short tutorial. In the next tutorial we'll jump into a little more of interesting features and then we'll go we'll look at some examples to get an idea of what's going on over there. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next tutorial.